One of the things fans love about Dragon Ball is the outrageous ki attacks. And that's right, it's pronounced ki, not kai. The Kamehameha, the Final Flash, the Dodonpa, and others have become a staple of the Dragon Ball franchise. But what really are the true origins of ki energy and ki manipulation, and how does it relate to Dragon Ball? On this edition of Dragon Ball in Death, we examine the ancient roots of energy manipulation in Eastern philosophy and how it's interpreted in the world Akira Toriyama created. Get ready, because it starts now. Although most associated with Eastern philosophy and religion, the concept of a fundamental force that gives life and health is prevalent in a number of cultures throughout history. The Hindu religion refer to it as prana. Native Americans call it the Great Spirit. The Chinese call it chi, and the Japanese call it ki. But it's all the same basic concept. Ki is vital energy, which can both increase and decrease in a person depending on their spiritual, mental, and physical development. One who is strongly balanced in Ki is more centered as a person and can control their stress and smoothen their emotions. Taoism focuses on developing Qi energy that can be utilized for both martial arts as well as healing. Acupuncture treatments are meant to balance the flow of key energy in your body and improve overall health and emotional vitality. A highly trained martial artist can use key in addition to leverage techniques to incapacitate his opponent with ease. Bruce Lee's one inch punch is probably the most prevalent and frightening real life example of the existence of key. This concept has been made prevalent in a number of films and television, and not just karate movies. Dim Mok and Bloodsport and The Force in the Star Wars Saga are all examples of this idea being visited in fiction. But what about Dragon Ball? The idea of key energy in Dragon Ball, while based on real martial arts concepts, is obviously turned up to several levels. The characters, when trained properly, can use their key to increase physical strength, attain flight, and of course, shoot key blasts. A good way to easily understand key is to watch Dragon Ball Z TV episode 207 when Gohan describes it to Videl as he is teaching her how to manipulate her key to perform the Buku Jutsu, aka fly. But how does it work? The characters have such a fundamental spiritual connection with their surroundings that they are actually able to manipulate subatomic particles and ignite them. Then there's an entirely different scope. Goku's most powerful technique, the Genkidama, or as it is known in the Funimation dub, the Spirit Bomb. Goku performs a technique by gathering energy from living beings other than himself, as well as plant life, solar energy, and planetary energy. Goku asks for these things to share the Genki with him. Many fans have often asked what the difference is between Genki and Ki. Well, in the Japanese language, Genki actually means health. And while health does relate to energy, it's a different word and a different meaning and is not energy in the scientific sense. So in Japanese, if you ask somebody if they are Genki, it's the English equivalent of how are you or how do you feel. But what does Toriyama himself say about this? Well, in the SEG story volume, he connects these words to Dragon Ball. So here it is, straight from the horse's mouth. Toriyama says, and I quote, The word energy, Genki, is well known but if you had an illness, Bioki, would you not have energy? That's difficult to answer. There are some people who have a healthy body but no energy. But there are also some people who are full of energy even when ill. What's more, even with people who have 
about the same amount of power, there are some who, when attacked by Piccolo Die Mile, for instance, will stand firm and tough it out while others will run away trembling in fear. If you think this way, you might understand how different kinds of ki are very important in battle. In the world of Chinese Kempo disciplines like Tai Chi, much importance is placed on the training and control of ki. End quote. So there you go. When Goku performs this technique, he is asking for positive, healthy energy. Kaiosama says that the technique can only be performed by someone pure of heart. So even though Cell says he can do the move, he probably can't. Because he's a dick. So that concludes this episode of Dragon Ball in Death. I hope you were entertained and learned something. I'm sure many of you are probably wondering, hmm, can I use key? Well, go outside right now, clench your fists, and push as hard as you can. You never know, maybe you'll shoot a beam that'll destroy a mountain. But really, you'll likely just shit your pants. I'll catch you down the road. <laughs>